Hi, and welcome back to my channel. Um, I hope you all are doing well. It's been a little while since I uploaded a video, but um, the pandemic has kept me very busy, and I am really glad to be back making more videos for you all. If you, if this is the first time you've seen my channel, welcome. My name is Dr. Megan. I am a board certified physician in internal medicine. Um, and since I last saw you, I have been board certified in lifestyle medicine and obesity medicine as well. Um, I like to take an evidence-based approach to health and wellness topics, particularly in the realm of lifestyle medicine, weight and obesity medicine. So Let's get started. Today, we are going to talk about my thoughts as an obesity medicine physician on Wagovi, which is so popular these days. Um, so I hope this is helpful. Um, first of all, I'll just stop by um, referring to Wagovi really as semaglutide because that is the actual medication. And um, it's FDA approved, semaglutide is FDA approved as two separate medications. There's Wagovi, which is FDA, FDA approved for weight loss. And then there's Ozempic, which is FDA approved for diabetes. So while the dosing may be slightly different for these, they are exactly the same medication. So the first thing to think about if you are talking to your physician about potentially starting Wagovi is that it is a lifetime medication, meaning that if you are thinking about it, you really want to make sure you are in it for life. So these type of weight loss medications, um, they really work uh, when you're taking them, but they don't work after that. There's no really prolonged effect if you stop the medication. So, and there's um, actually quite good evidence to show that when people go off the medications, the weight tends to creep back on. So if you're thinking about semaglutide, um, just know that it is a medication that you potentially would be on for the rest of your life. And the goal is really that if we're bringing somebody's BMI down, even though we're adding a medication, we are preventing them from needing other medications in the future. So we're preventing them from needing other medications for um, cholesterol or um, diabetes or a host of other weight-related complications. If we get their weight down, maybe they can come off their blood pressure medications, things like that. So it is preventive in a way, even though you're starting a medication. Secondly, I'll just say, like, it is an amazing medication. I've prescribed it to many, many people, and it's great. It's really great. It's, like, wonderful. It helped so many people, um, and it has very few side effects. Um, I would say, you know, most people get a little GI side effects, a little, like, can get a little diarrhea, can get a little nausea. Some people feel like they don't really have much of an appetite. Um, some people get a little tired, not uncommon um, to get a mild headache. Um, and a lot of people say they just don't really have an interest as much in food anymore. Um, there are also some more severe side effects, um, but luckily these are quite rare. So if someone is dehydrated, um, they're at a higher risk for kidney injury if they're on something like semaglutide. Um, if you had something like diabetic retinopathy, um, there's always a chance that this medication could worsen that. Uh, if someone is pregnant or breastfeeding, that is a contraindication for this medication. And then also good to know a significant um, contraindication is uh, if you or your family members have a history of multiple endocrine neoplasia type 2 or medullary thyroid carcinoma, that is a hard stop. Do not take this medication. Talk to your physician. Also, in rare cases, there have been um, episodes of pancreatitis, which is quite serious. And then anytime someone is losing uh, a significant amount of weight, their risk of gallstones and related complications does go up a little bit. So that's something to be aware of. Thirdly, if you are discussing potentially starting semaglutide with your physician, um, just know that um, you will probably need to be patient because um, if you haven't heard, there have been significant delays in terms of supply chain 
And then also, um, so the supply is down and demand is very high. So both of those are um, can be a little tricky to navigate. So it may take a little while for you to get. Um, there's also the additional complication that because it's not a generic medication, some people's insurance uh, programs just don't really cover this at all. Um, I do have some patients that um, are fine with paying out of pocket, but it, it can be like hundreds or thousands of dollars. So if it's not approved by your insurance company, uh, then you may want to talk, you definitely want to talk to your um, physician about what are your potential alternatives that might be more um, financially feasible. Uh, fourthly, um, I think it's very helpful for patients to know that this medication, semaglutide, has actually been around for quite some time. It's been around for years. So even though you are hearing about it more from news sources, um, from various social media sites, um, and it sounds new, um, it's not. So Wagovi uh, is a new drug in the sense that it is a new medication uh, approval, FDA approval for semaglutide, but semaglutide itself has been around for years. So it's just been around for diabetes. So what's new is the approval for weight loss, but the medication is the same one that we've been using for diabetes for years. And number five, it's very easy to use. I have a lot of patients when we're talking about medications for weight loss, if that's something that they want to explore, um, you know, we go through potential, um, all the list of, of potential medications to try. And when we get to the part where I tell them that it's an injectable medication, a lot of people are a little freaked out by that. But, and I think they have visions of like holding some like three inch long needle and trying to like put a syringe together at their house. It says, no, that's not what it is. If you go on to... Um, the websites for either Wagovi or Zempic, there's lots of resources about how to use it, but it's a very easy, like little, it's like a pen needle. It comes, um, one of them, you have to buy the needle separately, but regardless, it is a very small needle and it's incredibly easy to use. And for patients who still are a little skittish about it, I do um, offer them, a, you know, follow up with um, one of the nurses in my office to kind of walk them through how to do it. But usually they go through it once or twice and they're like, oh, this is like extremely easy. So um, don't be intimidated by using a needle because it's actually quite user friendly. That's going to do it for today. Thank you so much for joining me. As always, my references will be listed down below. It's so wonderful to be making these videos again. Thank you so much for watching and please be well.